Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. He's excited for this video. In this video, Dave Ramsey is the guest. So check this video out. Hector and I are kind of in a unique position. The only debt we had was student loans, which we were working really hard towards paying off. And you know, with COVID, they end up getting deferred, but we still, you know, took the same amount of money and we just put it into savings. And we- Why don't you pay them off? Well, <laughs> I, I know that's kind of a, a, a touchy topic with you. Our mentality is he's been watching everything with the government. You know, he's waiting to see if the 10 grants were given. How much do you yeah. owe? His are around 80K and mine so are... So what the hell's 10 grand got to do with it? You owe 80 grand. Well, it could be 10 grand less that we give to them. How much have you got in the bank? We Well, we did have about 90K. We had reached the amount that he had. So here's the thing, Anna. If you owe... $80,000 that you signed up for and you have $90,000 to pay it, you should pay it. You owe the money. I don't want to have to pay it for you. I'm a taxpayer that has to pay this because you're trying to play some freaking game with the government. All right. Kirby, what do you like about this video? <laughs> All right. First off, the caller in the video name was Anna. That's not my wife. <laughs> just, <laughs> just let's get that straight first. That wasn't her. Um, me, I am a huge proponent. You become an adult, you make adult decisions, you pay for whatever decisions you do. I was an adult. Well, was I'm still I still am an adult. But when I reached the adult realm, I made stupid financial decisions. I didn't look for the government. I didn't look for a bailout, handout, or nothing to get myself out of $250,000 in debt. I created it. I pay it. And that is, that's to me, that's what adulting is. You make the decision, you pay for the decisions that you make. And that's, uh, and family and friends of mine, they don't, be, they don't believe in that. But in my house, if a bill comes and you, unless it was, you know, nefarious and you never took part in the services or products that was provided, you will pay the bill. We're not using workaround. You want to be an adult, do adult things, then you pay the damn bill. When you get to the student loans aspect of it, I and I said it on uh, YouTube and on this content many a times, I was the ultimate dummy when it came to school. I'm probably the only guy in U.S. history that had two scholarships, full ride scholarships for school, and I still had to pay. I had a scholarship for playing football. Uh, jacked that off, wanted to go run around and hang out with the girls and stuff like that. And then I went to the military and then the GI Bill. And I messed around changing majors, doing this stuff, doing that stuff. And then by the time I really got focused on school, to do school, I graduated from school and I still had a bill from school. So my scholarships ran out and I still was doing school. So I had to pay for those. And I wrote a check to the school for the amount I owed. Because I made the decisions to mess off or I ain't going to say pardon my language because it's exactly what I mean. Fuck off and do stupid stuff with school. So I paid I paid the ramifications for that. I 100% believe that if you pull up, if you go into crazy debt or if you take part in services that you owe, that you should pay it. No if, and, buts, about it. I agree. Because um, I do this like in my life, like I've dedicated everything I can to be 100% independent from everything. And I can't have respect for someone as an adult or as a, and you see a lot of people where they, they, they want to have this ego of them, like, oh, they're this or that. But then in the simplest matters, they cannot control that aspect of their life paying off their own bills and they're always asking for help from people and they need handouts to sustain themselves. I can't respect someone like that. I can't respect the attitude or the ego they have about themselves if they're in a life situation like that. And maybe I hold higher or I hold people to a higher standard because I've done it myself and it for my age, especially, and I don't see any excuse as to why people can't do the same thing. Um, but that's just that's just how I see it. I just see it as if I could do it at this age without any help, then why can't anybody else? And 
I believe that as well. I mean, what Dave Ramsey was saying, why should a taxpayer pay for someone? And she has the capability. She has $90,000 saved. And most, nearly nobody has that amount saved, you know? And she has the ability to, she's still playing around for an extra $10,000. And, you know, and anything that you do, and this is just, a, this is just above, uh, you know, finances. This is just a matter of discipline and, you know, taking responsibility and accountability as, you know, as an adult, like you said, you know, anything you get yourself into, find a way out of it. You, you go into it knowing there's going to be consequences in one way or another. Uh, you buy a house, you know, you need to furnish the house, you know, you need appliances. Don't ask family for handouts as a, Hey, this is a welcome home or a first time home buyer gift. No, this is this is your responsibility. You wanted a house. Now you have to pay for everything else that comes with it. Um, you know, the same thing with, you know, anything you want to move out as an 18, 19 year old, expect to pay for your own groceries, expect to pay for your own light bill, your own rent, your, your own everything. If you, if you take matters into your own hands, you have to accept the consequences that come with it. And, uh, I just think this is a matter of just res being responsible, um, in any form. Um, and I always get this people, I, I don't know why they say I'm controlling, I'm not, but they can say it, uh, that's fine. But I don't live a life of being controlling, I live a life of I have to pay for the ramifications of every decision I make. And I always tell people, especially family members, when they be like, Oh, well, why are you trying to control this? I'm not trying to control it because. Whatever decision I make, I can pay for that decision if it goes wrong. Whatever decision you make and it goes wrong, you're going to be looking for me to pay for. I'm not paying for people's decisions. I do not finance people's lifestyles, and I do not pay for people's stupid decisions. Those are two of the main rules of my household. So if you make the decision, you're going to pay for it. You cannot call me to pay for it. But if I do it, every decision I make, I make it off of, if this goes wrong, this will be the cost that goes with it. Do I have the ability to afford this cost? And that's how I maneuver through life. People just want to fly at the seat of their pants. Oh, I want to go get a astrology degree. And then you get mad when there's no jobs for you when you finish school. Oh no, I don't want to pay no bill. I don't even get no, I don't even get a job based off that degree. You made the decision. I guarantee you when you went for your astrology degree or basket weaving degree or human studies degree or whatever these stupid degrees out there that, that has no job application after you get done, it was one person that said, don't do it. But you thought that, oh, I'm an adult. I can make my own decision. So pay for the decisions that you make. That's my only qualm with it. And people don't want to, they don't want to sit there and be like, I made the decision. I messed up. I need to figure my way out of it. They, especially with the student loan forgiveness, is I made the decision. Oh, it didn't work out. Oh, the government should bail me out of my bad decision. If you want to be an adult, be an adult. If you don't want to be an adult, stay your ass home with your parents and shut the hell up. That's exactly how I look at it. And I'm not sorry if I offended anybody. <laughs> I agree. I, I mean, I can't agree any more with this because, I mean, this it, it goes above and beyond just you know personal finance it's just and i mean i would say most people that are successful uh like you and me like they they have the same mentality you know they understand what hard work is they understand what it took to get there and you have a lot of people that are just entitled with their mentality of oh i can just accept a handout oh i can ask for this help i can ask for that people that get degrees that they know aren't going to be anywhere what like i mean you get a degree, you're now qualified for a job. Are you going to get the job? And that, you know, now that's the the discussion. I mean, and I've, I've heard the same thing. People feel like they shouldn't have to pay their student loans. I've heard people say that, oh, I'm just waiting to see if it gets forgiven. I mean, you literally, you're literally part of the reason why there's so much inflation in the country. And then on top of that, you complain that there's inflation when you're one of the parts that are causing it. I mean, it's, it's it's absolutely insane. I just I I can't stand 
that mentality of people. I can't stand an entitlement at all because I don't think anyone is entitled to anything. I think that you have to prove yourself to to get what you want and you have to accept the ramifications as severe as they may be. Yeah, and the crazy part, I didn't know he was going to pick this video for us to do, but then my shirt speaks exactly to what we're saying here. And for you can't see it. Yep, absolutely. A government big enough to give you everything you want is big enough to take anything, take away everything that you have. And that's, people just want the government to, oh, take care of me, take care of me, take care of me. I can make the decisions. Uh, I don't have to live with the ramifications of the decision. That's nowhere in the world. That's, and that's nowhere in the world. There's nowhere in Bible, biblical text, any other historical text. People make, people live with the decisions that they make. They have to live with the decision they make. And me, I'm hoping when June, July, when the Supreme Court come back, I hope they don't forgive not one single ounce of the student debt. I'm just going to be honest. I got to pay it. I know people that's paying it. I know people that took out student loan debt that don't want the student loan forgiveness to kick in. They just, hey, we made the decision. But that tells you how many true adults there are in, in, the, in the world. It's the people that want to play it because, oh, I'm 18 or I'm 21 or whatever age. And then there's people that's actually being adults. I made the decision, so I live with the ramifications of my decision. So I'm not going to get on the soapbox today. I'm just going to end it right there. The student loan one, it's big, too. And I mean, I'll close it out with this. But, like, you know, people, they they believe that getting a degree is not a necessity, but um, it's, a right. It's, a right. it's a right. It's a right. Gosh, I can't. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word, but. Um, yeah, and that's that's such a socialistic way to think. Like, if you want a degree, like we said in this whole video, it's your obligation to pay for that degree. If you want anything, you have to pay for it. And so to get a degree and then just think like, oh, why do I have to pay for it? And I mean that it's just it, it's insane. And I forgot uh the guy's name that uh Peterson Pearson more and the British guy. A lot of people don't like him, but he, he talked about this. Um, you know, you have to pay for that degree. I mean, it's something that you decided to go through. It's not a right, you know, it's something that you wanted. I yeah, I sure. just yeah, and, and the thing is, is a lot of the student loan debt is people with degrees, but a lot more is people who started school, didn't finish, and then took on the debt. I still feel the same way. Right. You started school, you made it a dark decision to go, you took out the debt. Then figure out how to pay it off. Exactly. And Dave Ramsey said the best. As a taxpayer, I don't want to pay for it. So I got to pay for, I mean, just thinking of my household, I got to pay for my my degrees, my family's degrees, my kids' degrees, but now I'm also paying for degrees for people I don't even know because they made stupid decisions. And I bring that up because a lot of people will say, oh, you don't know the hardship of, you know, having student loan debt, you know, we have to pay for this. But that's a, like I, like we've been saying, that's a decision you guys made. You know, you make that decision. I had made the decision not to go to college and I've done fine without it, you know. So but every decision I make in my life, I know that there's a ramification or a consequence behind it or beyond it. So, you know, and that's just my point is, you know, people have to get out of this entitled mentality for if they want any kind of success in their life being entitled will never lead you to be successful never will no one wants to be around people with the mentality like that that are successful yeah, be accountable be accountable for the decisions that you make absolutely with all that being said guys hit the like button leave a comment down below uh share subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one